Hi and welcome to ASW TV, giving you daily coverage of Antigua Sailing Week 2013. Today, Louis Habib chased the race and we got some insight into the growing trend of race boat chartering. Welcome to the second day of racing at Antigua Sailing Week. We're back at the Rendezvous Bay course with the performance classes. And today we're watching CSA4. Quokka at the moment are just in the lead. Southern Child just behind them and Jeremy Thorpe's Lancelot 2, third on the water, but maybe leading on corrected time. Well, I've been wanting to come and do the regatta for years and we don't have the right sort of boat to come and race here. So um, I'd looked up you know, what classes were here and what boats had raced before and found there were a lot of charter boats already coming out to the regatta. And obviously the internet makes it very easy to go out and find the, the boats that are coming and, and what's available in the region. And there's a fantastic array of boats. The charter um, market is quite interesting. We have, from Sunsail alone this year, we have uh, over 23 boats. So there's an awful lot of bare boats in the charter market, and that's quite traditional. They come from uh, Guadeloupe and from St. Martin and from the fleet in Antigua and from elsewhere. Um, but what's really interesting in recent years is the development of what we call the head boat charter market. Um, and there's a tremendous number of quite racy boats out there these days that sell by the spot. So people pay a fee to race on the boat and they put together a crew that may not have met each other before. Um, but they're racing on some really good boats and this is really exciting. People love it. It's not very expensive to do so it makes participation really easy for the sailors. Um, and then the other market of course is just the racing boats that are chartered out. So you can charter a boat without a skipper and you put your own team together and come and charter the boat. And that market is really developing as well. We're seeing a lot more boats and good quality boats in that market, so it's really exciting. I think it's a fantastic way of doing it. You know, it may look relatively expensive when you look at the headline price, but compared with running a boat like this and carting it around the world, you know, you're talking a big budget and, you know, our crew have never sailed together before. Um, you know, we're a bunch of mates from Hampshire in the south of England, um, wanted to come down here and, and sail. And, you know, here we are on a first-class race boat, beautifully prepared. We've got to get clear of those 40.7s off the start. We're, we'll be in trouble if we're not. Guys! Guys! You go that way! You go that way! Guys, please! You go that way! You go that way. We're on our start line! Bugger off! Well done, Jacko. Stay in the groove, H. No more main, no more main. Let's get a bit more back stay on. Great start. That's great, Henry. Stay in the groove now. Well, we're not doing badly for a bunch of amateurs. And we're trying to work our way back into this now. We probably look OK. Quokka, can't quite see at the moment. It's going to be very tight. Yeah, we're pretty happy. I think, you know, if you'd said to us um, coming into the regatta that we'd have these sort of results, this sort of boat speed, we'd be very happy. So we've just got to stay that way, keep plugging away and see what happens. Well, we're at the finish line for today's race over in Rendezvous Bay. Surely Quaka, Southern Child and Lancelot 2 vying for that top spot. They must have had a problem. They're back in third and probably uh, getting a third in this race. Was it a handling error? Was it a tactical decision? We'll find out sometime. It's wonderful to see how competitive racing is becoming so much more accessible to people around the world. Now let's see today's highlights.
That's all from us at ASW TV. Join us again tomorrow for more coverage and excitement on these waters. Thank <laughs> you.